Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. So today is definitely assemblage time and I start by using this piece of sturdy plastic with holes. I have no clue what it was meant to be, but it's part of my collection of bits and bobs, junk, trash and you name it. Some of the pieces here are kids toys like this bubble blower. I also have a little mini steak from the garden. I have all kinds of game pieces. Uh, broken pieces that came from packaging. I have this broken fidget spinner here that goes right up here in the corner. I have tops and different things that belong to old bottles, things from the handyman drawer and so on. And I use my trusty E6000 just to build up a background here. As you know, I work with all kinds of materials, be it metal or wood or plastic. Now in this case, I want to keep it pretty light. And because of that, plastic is always a good choice and I have lots of it. So it's a good way to use some of it up. I will paint over it all. So it really doesn't matter what color it has. I'm really after the shape and the texture it gives me. So for starters, I will glue down a bunch of things and when I pretty much saturated the background, I will add another layer. That time I will use some metal uh, components, but very light bits and pieces, some charms and those kind of things that have a very recognizable shape and that give me a little more interest into the background. Now, like always, I will add anything that needs explaining in the captions, uh, but I will most likely talk to you so in between. For now, please enjoy some music and enjoy the process.
So what I have here is a very simple home decoration piece that looks a bit like a window. I picked it up for a dollar and it has a plexiglass in it. But even though I tried to remove it, it's glued in there really well, which made it a little bit harder to work with the frame, especially concerning painting it and so on. Uh, but I think it worked out okay. First of all, I added a piece of craft paper that I cut to size. I also blackened the edges. And next I used my Mod Podge to attach another piece of craft paper. This one has script on it. And yes, I could have made this step easier by using some double-sided paper, but I just couldn't find the right one. So here it is all completed, and yes, this is not a very complicated assemblage, but I believe it has a lot of interesting details. And I really like the photo of the three girlfriends having fun in their car. I also like the dangling chain and the metal star. It's nice to have a couple of unpainted bits and between them and the frame, I think I achieved a nice focal point. Now I cleaned up the back and I gave it a hanger. And then the frame just got some distress ink. I left it in its natural wood color and I think it gives a nice contrast. Now, I could have picked a uh, craft paper that had complementary colors, uh, but I rather uh, wanted to stick with the same color palette I used on the assemblage. And I think it's an interesting and different effect, and I quite like the way it looks. So I really hope you enjoyed this process. You enjoyed watching me put this together and got inspired uh, to use some of your bits and bobs. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you come and see me soon again. I will be back latest next Friday. Stay creative.